everybody, it's Nicole from Cause We Love To Scrap. Today I am here with my Spiegel Mom Scraps sequins. I'm going to be using the new sequins called Tropic Dream. They are um, some teal, turquoise color, pinks and like whites and just, just sparkle. Um, I am going to be using this to make a layout that I was inspired by Missy Wyden, so we know we're gonna be doing some mixed media today. Here is a picture, it is of me and my youngest. So let's put that aside for a while. Then I have some um, little birdie flowers in pink. I have a doily that I wanna bring in, I have this black and white um, twine um, and then I have my watercolors that I'm gonna try and use today and then these are some sparkly black letters that I might use for the title I might not use those I might bring in um, these ones which are from hip kit club and they're just like some thin black ones so we might reuse those instead I got my mixed media uh, foundations paper ready to go already trimmed so I don't have to worry about trimming that after um, I put all my mixed media on it and then I pulled the April and Ivy uh, collection out to work with the papers and to work with the um, ephemera and stickers and all of that good stuff um, this also has a alpha kit in it I mean an alpha sticky so we might use those my plan is to create some mixed media goodness up here and then some down here and then to do some fringe pieces here in the middle I have my picture right over here probably add some mixed media and goodies over here as well I'm gonna try and keep my title down here um, and that was pretty much the basics of her page um, I think that I'm going to try to use some pink mixed media and then I'm going to bring in the turquoise colored paper from April and Ivy so why don't we go ahead and let's get started Okay, so of course the first thing that I am going to do is use these Crafters Companion Moonbeam watercolors and they have like a shimmeriness to them so um, that's why I'm using them. And um, just to let you know, I will have any products that I'm using linked down below so that you can find them easily and if you want to recreate this page, you will know where I got all of my um stuff <laughs> so um here i go i'm just going to play with three different colors of pink and i'm going to be um kind of making three different areas of painted pinkness
So I am going to just play a little bit with um, the watery goodness here. And then I'm going to put it um, aside while I work on some of the bits that I'm going to put on the paper. Like I said earlier, I am going to make um, some strips and then I'm going to create some fringe. I do that with my scissors and I don't make you watch it. So um, after I choose which papers I'm going to use, I go off camera and snip all of the uh, fringe ends. Now I know there are some fringe scissors out there. So if you have some of those and want to recreate this, you can do that as well. Or if you um, want to recreate this, but you don't want to do the fringe, just add some torn paper um, toward the bottom so you won't have to do all of the fringe like me. Um, so here I have my three papers that I want to use. Um, two of them I'm going to cut to, I believe, one and a half. And one of them I just cut off the, um, what is it called? Like the tattered edge that was on there. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to go off screen and make, make it fringy. Oh, I do cut off a, um, one and a half, I think one and a half inches from the length as well. Oh, and I do go off camera and I um, distress the four sides. So even, this, the, even the side that has the fringe is going to get distressed. So there they are, all fringy. And then I went off screen and I distressed my picture. And now I'm gonna come in with um, a black and white pattern paper so that I can back my photo since it is um, a black and white photo. And I cut this um, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So it's just a little bit around the edges. And I did go off screen and distress that and uh, put it together. So I did have a couple puddles that I just um, dabbed up with a paper towel. And now I'm going to go ahead and start laying out my uh, page. <laughs> so you see how I'm going to do the fringe and the photo. And now I'm coming in with the stickers. I think the only sticker that I wind up using is the Love You sticker. And I put that um, kind of under the photo as my title. And then um, after that, I'm going to bring in the ephemera and some fussy cutting that I did. I believe. Oh, okay. So here I'm going to add the rest of the title, which I do wind up using those um, Hip Kit Club kit letters. Now these are available. I don't know if they're still available, but they were available just to purchase on your own. You don't need a subscription or anything else. You just, you can just purchase them. They're, they're like a side, an a la carte type item. And so I grabbed some and now my title says, love you so much. I'm going to go off camera and fussy cut some flower. I mean, some um, butterflies. And then I have, here's my ephemera and um, some other fussy cut elements that I already had fussy cut. I am going to use that huge floral right there. And then this floral I am going to fussy cut and use right there, so um, stay tuned for that. The one in my hand, I'm going to fussy cut some um, white flowers, and I'm going to use those down below. I find these um, hexagons that I didn't use on another page, so I'm going to use those here as well. And yeah, I'm just trying out stuff, seeing what I could use or what I, I can't use and um, just going from there.
So I did go off camera and I went ahead and glued everything down. I did add some uh, little golden bits up to the two embellishment clusters at the top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring out this black and white twine that I'm going to just, um, this is how I think I'm gonna do it at first. Um, but then I decide to just have the twine going across the top and then um, a little piece down by the bottom and you'll see how I do that there. Um, I decided to glue down my twine for this layout. I did not want to um, staple it because there were ranges where I would need my long arm stapler. And if you are familiar with my videos, you know I hate my long arm stapler. It always jams. It jams about 90% of the time, and I just, I just hate it. So um, I'm hoping when I have um, a couple extra bucks to get a swing line long, long arm stapler and hoping that that does not jam as easily as this one that I'm using. So like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and glue that twine down. And you can see me doing that already. Now I'm going to bring in the little birdie flowers. And I'm going to use two down below by my title. I'm going to use two over to that right cluster. And then I'm going to use four over by the left cluster. And then um, I'm gonna glue that down with art glitter glue. I used art glitter glue also for the twine. And um, I'm gonna use it for my sequins as well. So here come all of the sequins and their sparkly goodness. I'm using the Tropic Dream collection and um, I'm using the pour method, which is where I just kind of pour the sequins on and I just glue them down where they land. And this is a time consuming process, but it is worth it to me because it looks so random and um, it, it just, yeah, it's just random and it looks I just like the way it looks, so um, for me it's worth it. I do grab some extra blue ones out of there to add to the layout. I'm not gonna watch you uh, make you watch my whole gluing process. I'm gonna do most of that off camera, and you'll see here I'm about to skip ahead. And then after I'm done gluing down my sequins, I'm going to um, grab a black marker and add a couple lines of journaling. And then after that, my page will be complete. So um, thank you so much for watching today. I want to thank Missy Wyden um, for the fabulous inspiration. And um, I'm going to have a link to her original video down below so you can check that out. Make sure to go check out um, Spiegel Mom Scraps and grab you some of these beautiful sequins. And I will have any other products linked down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.